y'all it is sunday made my way all the way out to downtown phoenix for this church what is i had to leave i couldn't even like the church first of all the church is right on the edge of an of an extremely busy road it's downtown phoenix mcdowell and 24th street those of you who are familiar with the phoenix area um and it's just jb and i my husband is at work he typically works on the weekend 75 percent of the time so i have to be cautious of my child and our safety because it's just it's just us so it's in a very hood but I look, Miss Jackson is, is country. I'm from the country hood, but I don't live in that type of environment anymore. There was a police officer out there directing traffic. I'm like, where is tra where is parking? He's like, oh, you can park either across the road on the side of the street. I'm not gonna park on the side of the street, y'all. I, I got stuff. I got stuff in my car. Um, and I mean, when I mean hood, what I mean by hood is that there's literally was a pile of mattresses within visual distance of the church parking lot. Like people just basically throwing out trash in the middle of the road. I cannot do it. <sighs> I could do it by myself. Let me react, correction. I could do it by myself, but as a first time visitor, I probably should have came up here by myself. I'm not gonna be able to do it, y'all. My, my gut instinct is telling me no. I've come to the point in my life to where I listen to my gut instinct without judgment, okay? But safety comes first. Y'all. This is the church right over here, down over here. The people are parking over here. We can't walk all the way. Or, so this is the church down, this is the church right here. There's no parking. Oh child, look, we are home, home, home. Um, my husband needs to do something with his. Look, my stuff is all gone. Um, y'all, that dang on chicken and pancakes was uh forty, almost fifty dollars. <laughs> a plate of pancakes and that soul food platter and our drinks was forty seven dollars. Woo! It was good though. It was good. I had enough leftover. Let me let me iterate. I also got a dessert. So, but still, forty seven dollars. Um, I got some red velvet cake home. They're known for the red velvet cake. This is my third time going to Lola's Chicken and Waffle. The first time I went, I wasn't impressed. And it was downtown Phoenix. I was not impressed. No I went last year doing a, pr doing a brunch, excuse me, and it was good. It was real good. Tried to go a couple of weeks ago. Actually, tried to go last year. Y'all remember we tried to go there last year. An hour wait. So today, as soon as I saw the church stuff, which by the way, y'all, I'm glad I listened to my instincts because driving, I've never driven in that area before, uh, Phoenix, or I would have known better. Driving a little bit past the church, I saw gang uh, signs, or what do you call it? People basically, gang, gangs basically marking their territory. And the, the, the city's not going to do anything about, because uh, normally they paint over it, they're not going to do anything because they don't care about that area. They really don't. So... Child, they were marking everything. I'm like, is the church burning? But no. Nah. Like I said, the church got good ratings, and I'm probably gonna have to go there by myself, but not with the baby. But anyway, y'all. Um, the food was good. Long story short, the food was good, even though it was $50 for a piece of chicken and stuff. I didn't really care for the rice and the gravy. The gravy was like orange. I'm like, what type of gravy is this? I'm used to brown, brown or wet white gravy. Don't give me no orange gravy. So uh they started on JV's from the guest bedroom yesterday. And we had no other choice but to have JB to sleep in the bed with us. Child. First of all, y'all, my husband has a ritual before he goes to bed, which is annoying as hell. He's literally in there gargling with water, washing his teeth. I, like, I, I kid you not, it's like a 10 to 15 minute ritual for him to get ready for bed. I don't know what he's doing. He ain't doing nothing with, he ain't got no skin routine. Like, why are you taking... So it, it wakes me up, at least, I'm used to it, but still at least two to three days out of the week, it wakes me up. And so of course, it woke JB up. This was like around midnight, it woke JB up. He was up, he was trying his best to rock himself back to sleep, sleeping in the middle of us. My husband was frustrated, he's like, can he sleep on the side? I dragged JB out of the room, we went to go, we went to go sleep on the couch, he fell asleep. I fell asleep for a good two hours. JB woke up at two o'clock, you know, 
moving around and I've been up since then <laughs> been up since two child so the painters came at eight and they, they've been, do been doing a good job but I told my husband I said look I did not get any sleep I know that if I'm gonna be here JB can't sleep with, with us in the bed again I'm not gonna sleep on this couch again I'm gonna find myself a hotel room with two beds so both of, the, both of us can get a good night's sleep and so I invited my husband up here I'm like if you want to come up here you can and he's like, nah, it's okay, because he's bougie, you guys. This is, um, we're at the Sleep Inn, which is the equivalent to an to a Comfort Inn. So, because it's not a Hilton or a Hampton, girl, he can't, I was like, bye, girl, we got, so, baby, I sat there, I could not get anything done, again, could, could get, because my husband's asking, me. plus, he's off today, so I couldn't get much done. So, child, I cooked dinner. JB, you can't be jumping up and down like that, okay? Um, So, let me tell you what I did. I'm petty, yeah, girl. Nurse. First of all, checkout is until 12 o'clock. So, let me tell you what's going to be going on. I'm an early riser. But we're probably going to be going to bed early, meaning like 8 o'clock. Yeah. And so, hold on, baby. Hold on. So, I cooked <laughs> dinner. Oh, I packed my yeah. dinner. It's sitting over here. We have a microwave and a refrigerator. I packed my dinner, packed my cookies. Pack Jay with some food. We were out of there by 4 p.m. because we've been with these people since 8, right? My husband's like, well, um, who's gonna who's gonna make sure that they're up? I said, Oh, you can't you can do that. JV and I would be having waffles at 8 o'clock. I'm not playing. Like well you can you can have your cereal, okay? They'll they'll have breakfast down there. They have breakfast down here. And I'm so petty. I, JB's going to camp. Baby, you broke it. JB's going to camp. I'm dropping him off the camp. Miss Jackson's coming back to the hotel. Y'all, I'm not playing. I'm coming back to the hotel so I can work for a good three hours. JB's going to the camp at 839. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Don't you talk back to Guys, me. Guys, excuse me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, stop. I'm not playing. See, I'm not in the mood. And yes, I will be coming back and working till checkout, which is noon. And I may have oh, some more so breakfast. Much. That way my husband can deal with that stuff. I am so tired. So I'm going to go here soon and eat my, my pasta. And um, have my, my breakfast. Oh, I, I got a little wine cooler too. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to miss Jackson's going to sleep good. <laughs> now, what did you want to say, baby? Um, so we're at a hotel. And I have this nice thing that I build. Um, you want to call daddy here in a minute? When we're... When we're um, uh, He's so uh, cute. House. You're so precious. You want to call daddy here in a minute? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This child. He's recording them too, I guess. Hey y'all, so I'm back in the hotel room, Chow. I went home, cause look, I don't know what JB was doing last night, but he ate, I know y'all, I'm in, in the middle of a, um, can I turn on another light? Hold on y'all. Is that better? Maybe, maybe not, I think that's a little better. <clears throat> anyway, first of all, last night, <laughs> JB loves hotels. I mean, what little kid doesn't like to sleep somewhere that's new and exciting? That's exciting for them. So he calls my husband last night, giving him a tour of the room, child. And my husband, being as petty as he is, I can tell that he didn't want us to come up here. He is so dang on passive aggressive. He didn't really want us to come up here uh, just because he didn't think it was, it was worth us coming up here, but it was worth it, given that I was able to sleep. But anyway, he's giving um, my husband a tour. You know, basically, <laughs> <laughs> he's like there's a uh, mommy has her bed and I got my own bed and um there's there's a bathroom but there ain't no bathtub and so my husband's like oh so basically y'all in a shack and James like we ain't in no shack I thought that was funny so um it's so funny Christine just sent me a message Christine is my friend and co-worker y'all she's like did you go to the hotel last night I'm like girl I'm still at the hotel and matter of fact I'm not leaving here till noon she's like, I don't blame you y'all my house is a disaster I cannot the type of work I do I need to have at least three hours of uninterrupted because right now I'm in the middle of materials management and creating courses and if I'm getting interrupted that can throw me off 
<clears throat> so I need this three hours to straight work, right? So anyway, this morning got JB uh, his lunch or whatever. My husband gets up um, and I let him know I'll be back at noon. Yes, yes, sir. And um, I'm going to vacuum. Y'all, I'm really particular about how things, there's a, or, things have to have an order in the house. Now, I'm not, I'm not that OCD or clean all the time, but there's a place where things go. And because they've been in there and they had plastic down, um, me personally, I need to vacuum in there before I put anything on that floor. <laughs> all right, let me hush up, <clears throat> get some work done, like I said. Um... Real quick, uh, Rhonda was telling me, Rhonda is another YouTuber who is out, who is out here in Phoenix. She's originally from Louisiana. Um, I, 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 I feel like um, I call Rhonda and my head girl, you're my cousin, you're my cousin girl. We have a lot in common. But I think a lot of people, especially the sister states, you know, Texas and Louisiana, people there tend to have things to come especially since I'm from East Texas, y'all, which is only 30 minutes away from Shreveport, 30, 40 minutes away. <clears throat> Excuse me. So she was say saying how um, her old manager was hard on her. Well, she was surprised that she got an award, an MVP award at her job. And her job is new. Well, it's not new, but it's a new, new type of role for her. And <clears throat> she was surprised because her previous manager was very hard on her. And she didn't know if she liked her or not. Girl, I can so relate to you. I don't really talk about my job that much on my channel because just because I just don't. Now mind you, I'm gonna be careful how I say this. I requested to be moved because my previous manager was on some bullshit. I don't know, yeah, I already broke my, my rule for trying not to curse. He was really on some foolery, you guys. If I, it was a, it was a issue of where I went to HR due to some things that he has said. Um, so after a while, I felt the need that I, I, I didn't feel comfortable being under him. <clears throat> and so I requested from HR to be moved to another person. And of course they moved me to the only other black person in the, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. So let me get to the point. She was on my ass and I knew that she liked me. Not like, like, like me, but I put it like this. I knew that she didn't dislike me, okay? <clears throat> but, and I would go to Christine and complain about it. I'm like, I don't know why she's always demanding this stuff from me. And finally, she let it slip last year, my manager. She said, you know, Vivian, I want you, I want you to win. I want you to be promoted. You are basically competing against all these other people and we have to, for a promotion because they only hand out so many promotions in the department, not just my team, <clears throat> meaning the learning services team, which is about 100 people. We're talking about the entire academy within this company that has like, I don't know how many people work for her. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of people. I work for a huge corporation. So within our small department, I'm competing against 300, 400 people and they give up maybe 10 promotions a quarter. So, she was that's what she was doing she was trying to push me to do the to to basically do better and elevate myself and i was for the longest i was like i don't know what else i could do i rewritten uh my sops i've offered up suggestions and so i think uh with what occurred at the beginning of this year and some things that occurred last year what i did and at that point i just i was giving up i i, I didn't necessarily give up i just was like, okay, it's out of my hands. I've done everything that I could do for three years straight. And we're talking about quarter after quarter. It's like, I don't even know if I'm ever gonna get a promotion, but it came through. So anyway, y'all, I'm yapping away. Um, oh, this is good. The breakfast down there with Ann, it was okay. I had, thankfully I had packed JB some cereal, so he ate his cereal. I got something at home. <clears throat> no, excuse me, I got something from Starbucks. Um, hey y'all, after, I've been eating out a lot and the house you know between the Texas trip literally only had a week or so break off and then now with the house house you know house being painted my meals have been all over the place you know needless to say so next week I'm gonna have to pick <clears throat> one or two days where I eat fairly clean drink a lot of water and then get back on intermittent fasting um, now when I intermittent fasting, I just skip breakfast. I skip breakfast and I make sure that I eat 
um, dinner before five o'clock. That's all I do, very simple. All right, y'all, this is what our bedroom is looking like. Chow, it's almost like, because everything had to be cleared, it's almost like we're moving into a house, but not 100%. Um, they had to put drop cloths everywhere to protect the floors all over. Can't even see that. Um, the reason why it's taking so long, y'all, is that we are having everything painted. Baseboard, doors, even the ceilings, the walls. All right, y'all, it's early in the morning here, like 5.30. The house painting is officially done. Now, let me show y'all. My husband can't see. We, we know why. He, he has cataracts problem. But this is a very light color. But you can tell that the walls are painted because look at the baseboard. The baseboards are white. This is a very light, light, um, I don't even know, like a light egg show. I don't know the official name, girl. My husband was like, I can't even tell the walls are painted. I'm like, if you, if you don't look down at that white baseboard and look at the wall, you can see the difference. So this is what the open areas is painted, all right? Yeah, I have to excuse the coffee. Hold on, let me get my coffee together. <clears throat> um, yeah, they finished up yesterday pretty early because they had a lot of people here. Girl, I'm going to have to sage down my house. <laughs> No, they were pretty good. I could tell they, they had good spirits. You know, I, I'm an empath, so I can feel people, energy, like seriously, seriously. And they were very, first of all, they were older gentlemen. At least two of them were old, old, old enough to be my father. So they had a very uh, warm, caring energy about them. Anyway, um, so they finished up yesterday, right? And I'm gonna show you the other color. Hold on before I start talking. So yeah, there's a difference in the entire open area. Anything that's open in the, you know, where you can see is this light color. And let me show you what the darker color looks like. All right, so anything that's behind closed doors is this darker color. The closets, our bedrooms, the bathrooms. So what I've done, I went to the dollar store and bought me some, or well, bought some, what do you call it, shelf liners for this area and for the closet from, from where my shoes are at. But y'all, I've used those Dollar Tree, I don't even know what I did with this stuff. Let me get out of here. I've used those Dollar Tree liners before and they didn't last long. So I went ahead and purchased some more through Wafer, right? But one thing I did get y'all, JB School had some furniture um, just out for free. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to refurbish this chair for my shoe room. So instead of this stool, I'm going to use this chair. I'll just give JB this stool. Let's look up. Girl, I got on clothes. Just uh. This is JB Mama channel. It's Mama channel. I know. We made a new channel today. No, we didn't make no new channel. Yeah. Yeah. I look broad as hell, but we're gonna just be going through a drive-through. First of all, it's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. Wait, what? No, I wanna eat there. I don't have any clothes on, y'all. I look like a, a, a linebacker with no um, shawl on it. <laughs> hey, funny, JB. Um, it's Friday, and I Can am I tired. No. Is you, your seatbelt you? on? No, you can't smell me. <laughs> So today, the only thing we want to do is focus on JB's room. I already did the laundry room. Focus on JB's room and the guest bedroom. I am reserving the closets. Now the color is working. I'm reserving the closets for the weekend. <coughs> and decorating is going to be all next week. I'm going to take my time. Okay, taking my time. To give me some energy, we're going to go to Whataburger. Now, Whataburger, y'all... Those y'all from Texas know Whataburger sells serves the same menu all day. Yeah, instead <coughs> we Texas went to <laughs> Lamar's. We had to go to um, Phoenix. We were on our way to Whataburger. I said, JB, why don't we stop by Lamar's? This is an old school where they bake the donuts there. I have me some donut holes. Mmm. Oh my I god. Don't like donut holes. This is so good. Can I try a slice on a hole? Can I try one? 
Why the heck are you looking at the camera like Because I don't like to show my food. And James like, your food is my food. But I, I need to get an aloe vera plant because I'm going to. I'm going to take down these twists. I've had these twists in my hair for three weeks. So I'm going to take it down, pre put my hair. I have two videos I'm going to do for you guys. But I need to. I'm not going to do those videos. That's just squishy, dog. I'm not, excuse me. Squishy. They are very soft because they just made them this morning, baby. I'm going to do two videos, but I may have to push it out until Wednesday. Yeah, I am. I'm going to push it out until Wednesday. Do a curly fro. For the brunch I'm going to. I'm gonna record that too. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm in my best, best. Yeah, my best room too, because I'm gonna show y'all. My she room is done, girl. So, um, yes, y'all saw painting has is done. And girl, ooh, look, I'm not breaking my back putting all this stuff together. Um, the JB's room, well. I would have to say the room I'm in, the she room, is the room that's all the way fully put together. I mean, everything's back here. Pictures are hung up, all of that. I decided to attack this project room by room instead of the whole house. Room by room and break it up over the course of a week. Because y'all have to understand, it, decorating my house and putting up the pictures, that's something I did before I had a child um, and a demanding ass husband. <laughs> He's not demanding. Sometimes he's a big girl. Um, that was before, basically I was doing all that in stages. So, what's the point girl? I'm taking my time. Like the she room is done. I'm gonna give y'all a quick pan of this, but this is gonna be a separate, it's gonna be a separate video. Uh, Cause I, I started recording and putting together footage of my actual room back in February actually. So things may seem out of order, but it's because it's from a long time ago. Um. Everything is pretty much put in its place. There's still some things, you know, in different areas. The only thing that's not done is my closet. I started putting up some clothes and all that. Uh, thank God I don't have to go into an office. But my husband's getting my damn... Y'all, let me tell y'all how my husband is. I don't want y'all to think that we're in a bad spot in our, in our marriage. I'm giving you... <laughs> I'm laughing because... Sometimes I see couples on YouTube and they're all lovey dovey and hug up and a lot of the times these couples are younger and it's not to say you can't be older and be in that spot. Absolutely. But let me tell you something. Most of the time when you get married and if you're not married and married people, please comment below. I would say 70% of the time your spouse is going to get on your damn nerves. <laughs> yeah. And that's just the way it is, you know. Um... But I love him more than I hate him, girl. Now, but let me tell you about this ninja. So, he, well, one night, so one night, he spent the night in here. We both did. We had to because there was no room. And then there was a little couple of nights. Jamie and I went in a hotel, right? Well, when we got back from the hotel, we had to stay in the guest bedroom. And it's hot back here. This is the hottest room in the house, right? It's been hot for the past 10 years. So, how is it now that he, now all of a sudden he's complaining about it because he was back here sleep, sleeping. You see how he is? So, all of a sudden, I hear in the back room talking to someone and then he nonchalantly says, this was on Friday. No, no, Thursday or Friday. Friday, Friday morning. He's like, um, we're going to have somebody to come by on Saturday to give us a quote because it's too hot back here. I said, I know that. It's been hot back here for the past 10 years. He's like, well, it is too hot. We need to do something about this. So anyway, girl, I had someone to come out on Saturday and they put 10. They tinted the windows, which is good. Just in time for my she room, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Tinted the windows, right? And, uh, girl, what's the point? So, yeah, because of that and other stuff, I really didn't put together any room but this room this this is the only room I did because y'all I'm still tired you know it's like I said it's like moving inside of your house moving stuff around I have some shelf liners like I mentioned earlier in the vlog that are coming from Wayfair because those Dollar Tree ones are cheap um and I pulled my makeup out of that closet because it was staining the shelves I put it in here um in the guest bedroom but um he was confused child over this room he's like I don't understand why you don't you don't have to understand it's not for you to understand Y'all, getting on my nerves, I tell you. <laughs> but today is Sunday. It's our relaxing day. Last night we went out to eat, girl. Last night we went out to eat. That would explain why my hair is looking at you. Child, we went out to eat. And I had three and a half drinks. Now, I'm not going to, you know, go over everything. Because, yeah, we're not going to do that. But this is what it looks like. I got all my products and stuff over there. Yes, isn't this cute? This is the bedding I got. 
and this is where my makeup and stuff is at. Look, I did my makeup in here last night. It was so nice, y'all. So nice to have some peace and quiet. JB was running his mouth behind the door. <laughs> yeah, I locked him out. show you what I cook now look look I know you said let me clean off my stove before you start talking about me hold on I know you said you were watching what you eat right but I, I get it girl I get it we're gonna look tomorrow's Monday we're gonna start over again now I know you like fish so I fried us some fish and I know you like chicken so I fried us some some chicken tenders now I use egg wash I didn't use buttermilk for this to make it crispy I got some fried corn here gotta have your vegetables broccoli and over here we have some sweet potatoes and ginger all right oh but girl i'm not done yet let me show you what's for dessert now you saw earlier i was putting together that banana pudding right and here she is doesn't she look good now i'm gonna go ahead let me pour you some lemonade girl i made some fresh lemonade pour you up a glass fix yourself a plate and that is it 